Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and our traveling adventures. Today we are in Cape Canaveral and we're going through a neighborhood which is kind of unique because it's known for peacocks running the street. So come with me as we take a drive. When in Florida and we visit one of the restaurants in Port Canaveral, we like to finish the day by driving through the Harbor Heights neighborhood in Cape Canaveral. This neighborhood is known for the wild peafowl which roam the streets. You have to keep a real good lookout because you never know where you'll see these birds. Technically speaking, male peafowl are referred to as peacocks and female peafowl are referred to as peahens even though Peafowl of either their sex are often referred colloquially as peacocks. Harbor Heights is located just off North Atlantic Avenue across from the Circle K Shell Station. If you look closely, you might see peafowl wandering some of the adjacent neighborhoods, but we have had the best viewing in the Harbor Heights area. If you drive through this area, be very mindful and courteous as this is a residential neighborhood. You should not park on the side of the road or in the middle of the street and make sure that you are not backing up traffic as you drive through. During the springtime, it can get very noisy as a male peacock tries to lure in a peahen with its mating call. You might see the peacock spread its tail feathers, known as a train, into a large fan shape and strut about, shaking the feathers to attract the attention of a mate. You might be wondering, where did these peafowl originate? Well, the Cape Canaveral peacocks have a history that dates back all the way to 1951. In an excerpt from the book, Images of America, Cape Canaveral, Flossie Staten says, My mom, Elizabeth Everwine, had grown up with only brothers, so she was a tomboy, and much more interested in doing outside things than in. She decided to raise chickens after my college roommates gave me two Easter chicks and I had to bring them home on the Greyhound bus during the Easter holiday of 1951. They grew up to be nice chickens, so she bought more and built a big bin and chicken house. After that, it was just a short step to a clutch of peafowl eggs, which she bought from someone and persuaded of the bantam hens to hatch. That was quite a sight, as they grew to be so much bigger than their mother and followed her around. She was a persistent sitter and sat for several more little broods, but eventually it got to be too much for her, all these huge kids who followed her everywhere, expecting her to help them find food, and she began to shun them and find refuge in an oak tree. Mama says she never was right after that. But anyway, that was the beginning of the peafowl over here, though it wasn't until she gave my uncle William Eberwein a pair that things actually got out of hand, as he was not so diligent in keeping them pinned as Mama was, and eventually they began raising broods in the woods, and those babies that escaped the fixes and coons and possums started ranging farther and farther afield, finding nesting places of their own. So Bill Eberwein was actually responsible for the proliferation of the peafowl population on the beach. From what else I've read, the Eberwine family moved in 1986 and abandoned the peafowls. Over the years, the peafowl have slowly populated the community, with the greatest concentration being in the Harbor Heights. Residents have said that although the peafowl are beautiful to watch, they can be noisy and leave a mess on porches or scratch up your car. Many of the residents have a love-hate relationship with these birds. As we were leaving, we did get a chance to capture this footage of a peacock courting its potential mate. Notice how the peacock rattles and shivers its trained feathers, producing a display of flickering feathers and distinctive noises. It has been known that this courtship dance signals the fitness of the males, as the extravagant display requires energy and muscular power to perform. This peahen appears to be uninterested. Peafowl are native to India, Southeast Asia, and Central Africa, not the U.S. While these peafowl are not endangered, they are protected by Florida's authorities, who say that Florida is the bird's habitat.
Remember, if you ever visit this neighborhood and see the peafowl for yourself, drive safely and be courteous to those that live in this neighborhood. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed our drive through Harbor Heights and the peafowl. If you did, click that like button. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you have not subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. You just never know where we'll go next. Until the next time, I hope to see you out on the water someday.